Hello everyone, this is Stephanie coming to you once again from inside the doghouse. I am filming this video hot on the heels of my last one, which had some unboxing, because I need to get to pressing comics that are going into my next submission. And, um, and some of those comics are going to be ones that I'm discussing in this video. It makes it awkward if they're going through the press at the same time. So um, this video is about my next crack in resub. And I, I'm doing these fairly frequently uh, the, you know I've, I've done a few already and I, I had requests before to do a before and after so this is the before video that shows which books are hitting crack and resub now first off before I get into what, what books are going in this one uh, everything that could go wrong did I had a couple of detective comics 880 that were supposed to be a part of it I bought them specifically for a crack and resub I cracked them and neither one of them were 9-8 candidates so they got um, they got just sold off as raws and uh, and I moved on I, I just took break even for them um, or even a little bit less uh, so those two books are out of the equation. And there's another book that I bought that was for this crack and resub. Uh, spe I bought it specifically for it. It was a Spider-Man, I believe, two, 256. It's the Puma one. I, anyway, um, it, I bought it. It was a 9.6 and it went missing from Comic Link. So they did not send it along and they just refunded me my cash for it. So that's three books gone from the crack and resub right off the bat so um not off to the best start in the world um now one book is from a friend he's including it and i cracked it already ultimate follow four and it was a 9.2 i cracked it this morning because this is going into the press this afternoon and this book 9.2 because it had um, a corner crunch on the back and it's pretty deep, so we'll see what we can get out with pressing. I don't see it as necessarily a 9-8 candidate, but it'll bump up from the 9-2. Um, and for my books, I do have, I'll just change the order a little bit since we're talking about Ultimate Fallout. I bought a couple of Ultimate Fallouts, and looking at this one, there are, um, I bought it because the greater notes said that there's a wave to it. Well, there certainly is one. It looks like improper pressing. There's also dents along the spine. I think I can get the dents out pretty easy. And we'll see how bad the wave is. Um, I do I do have high hopes for this. It's going to be significantly better than an 8.5. But considering this book is kind of swirling the drain right now, it's going to, regardless of where it lands, it's going to be a hold for a while until the prices start to go up again. Um, it's, it's quite awful how fast this book is dropping. This one, um, I'll try to follow for again, uh, hashtag rare books. <laughs> um, this one was a 9.0, and I'm going to crack it, but I do see uh, spine ticks that have like very small color breaks, so I don't see this as a 9.8 candidate or anything, and 9.4, 9.6 as much as it's going to get to, and um, both of those, um, unless I hit something, like unless I get a miracle 9.8 out of the 8.5 or something like that, I'm going to end up losing money because the book is just absolutely crashed um since the um since i made the purchases it's unfortunate but it happens it's the risk you take this one i've already pressed um it's a strange academy one it was a nine six i took it out i had high hopes for it but there's um a, a flaw uh, in the spine and it it does break a little bit of color so i i am thinking it's just going to go straight back to a 9.6. That's my guess on it. So really what this one comes down to, my biggest uh, my biggest bet is on um, this book. It's um, Spider-Man 194, First Black Cat. And um, you know, the, the kind of a book that everyone continues to watch. I'm trying to get a good angle for the, for the lighting. Um, and I'm looking at it 
and I don't see any reason why this can't improve a little bit. It has some color break there and there, but I think I can get it up into the 9294. Not a major um, big bump, but considering where this book is going and the value points, I think it's well worth doing. There's other books in the submission. It, it uh, Like I said, it kind of petered out and the submission is going to be smaller, but hopefully it means that CGC will go through it. Um, so my anticipated grades, the 9.2 here, I think I'm hoping for a 9.496. This 9.0, I'm hoping for a 9.294 because there's fine stuff that breaks color. The 8.5 is the wild card. I don't know exactly um, until I crack it open how bad like the, the wave is and whether I can get it out. But um, I'm not seeing things that can't be fixed. So I might have to go through the press a few times, but I, I have hopes that, that's, that that is my 9698 candidate. But again, I, I won't know until I actually crack it open. Strange Academy 96 all the way. And the Spider-Man uh, 194 is 9294. So those are my guesses. Those are what I'm hoping for. And I'll make another video linking back to this one when I do uh, showing the results. So, um, and there's always bad surprises in there, but there, but hopefully there's some good surprises mixed in as well. So see you all next time and, uh, and take care. Happy collecting.